Want to start with a live look right now from the Battery and Truist Park. You're seeing the fans gathering. It is opening day for our world champion Atlanta Braves. We are about three hours from first pitch, but you already know fans are there pre gaming right now at the Battery and they're in for a very fun night. If you're headed to the ballpark, there's a lot more than just baseball going on too. All right, and this isn't your average opening day mm -hmm. either. You mentioned world champions Atlanta Braves. It is a huge part of the pre game ceremony and festivities today. The World Series pennant will be unveiled around 745. It'll be brought into Truist Park by parachutists. Chipper Jones throwing out the ceremonial baseball a few minutes later and then after the national anthem and a F-16 flyover, it will be time to play ball. Maria Martin on the field for us this evening, getting ready for tonight's game. And Maria, a funny thing happened on the way to opening day, a little clubhouse drama, if you will, between a current Brave star and a former darling of the team. Hey, Jennifer, yeah, first and foremost, happy opening day. We've been waiting for this for a while now, and now we're going to start the road to 162. We get the full season, and there's definitely a different buzz around Truist Park right now. But like you said, there's a little bit of drama going on, and it's between two players that we won't even see on the diamond tonight. Of course, talking about injured outfielder Ronald Acuna Jr. and Bra former Braves first baseman, now Dodgers first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Acuna actually admitting that there was at some point a rift between he and Freeman. Last night, he did a Spanish interview on Instagram Live, and the reporter asked him, what would you miss about Freeman? Acuna said, quote, nothing. He then said this, translated from Spanish, when you're starting as a rookie, there's always someone who wants to come for you. Do you understand? One comes with that flow and attitude of minor leagues and puts on the black lines on the cheek, wearing the hat sideways, and many people don't like that. I don't see it as a bad thing, because to me, it's part of the game. So he used to really come for me as a veteran and actually took off my black lines on my cheek with a white. Now, Freeman has yet to respond publicly. His Dodgers won't open the season until tomorrow in Colorado. Braves manager Brian Snicker said he doesn't necessarily feel the need to address it with Acuna, but here's what Acuna said about 45 minutes ago in the clubhouse. Uh, to be honest, I think it was just uh, exaggerated and blown out of proportion uh, by the media. Um, I just simply talked about just some things that, you know, that occurred during the 2018 season, and I just think it was completely taken just out of, uh, it was just blown out of proportion. Right after that, I asked Acuna what he felt like his relationship was with Freddie Freeman ever since that incident back in 2018. He said he felt like it was a good one, and he really just wanted to put that in the past. He also said he wanted to focus on opening day, but of course all those questions would be about his relationship with the former Braves first baseman. But it is a big day of baseball here at Truist Park. At 745, we're going to get to see the World Series pennant, and this place will be rocking. 808 first pitch against the Cincinnati Reds. It's going to be such a fantastic time. In fact, Brian Snicker also said that he expects this crowd to be that like the World Series. But outside in the battle reef, we find our chief meteorologist, Chris Holcomb. And Chris, it is a beautiful day for some baseball. It really is a beautiful day, Maria. You said it was going to be rocking inside on the field in a little while. It is already rocking outside here at the Battery. Just take a look around. You can see here we're on the green. Kids are playing around, throwing balls, hitting some wiffle balls here. But look at the line. The gates are going to open in a little while. Of course, the game's later on tonight. But folks are already lined up, just waiting to get inside. They have been waiting for this day for many <laughs> excuse me, many, many days. So yeah, really rocking out here already. And <clears throat> excuse me, the pollen has gotten to me. So sorry about that. You mentioned the beautiful day. I am so thankful that all those storms from this week and from last night got out of here. And this is a really nice day for opening day for baseball. We have plenty of sunshine here. Of course, the sun will be setting right after the first pitch. Take a look at your forecast for tonight. And once the sun goes down, it's going to start cooling off. We've seen our high temperatures in the 60s today, but during the evening, we will see those temperatures falling through the 50s. So it's going to be getting noticeably cooler during the game tonight. You may have noticed the breezes around today as well. We will still have a little bit of wind, but it is going to be calming down a little bit more out there for the evening. So everybody who's coming here tonight, we've got great weather for you. It's just going to be a little cooler throughout the evening hours. Stay with us. We'll look ahead to the weather for the rest of the weekend for the additional games and for whatever other events you're going to be taking place in for the weekend coming up in just a few minutes.